Hello guys, welcome back to Film Sprinter. TLC's hit show, My 600 Pound Life, has been on the air since 2012, illustrating the lives of ordinary people suffering from extraordinary obesity and showing their struggles during their journey of weight loss surgery. In today's video, we'll find out the cruel side of My 600 Pound Life. So without further ado, let's begin. The show's humiliating scenes. Now, every single episode of the show includes a fully uncovered scene with contestants, which showcases their bathing rituals. However, the creators of the show have claimed that they want to show the difficulties faced by obese people while doing daily tasks. The filming of such scenes is also a way to find out a person's true body size and accumulated fat. Well, most of the contestants, who weighed 600 pounds, have endured years of mocking due to their weight. The scenes can easily be seen as demoralizing, as they require participants to share some real private moments with the world. The show has also had many contestants who had previously refused to go out in public while being fully dressed. The only good thing here is that the editors of the show have the access to blur to all such stuff, which is really invalid on the screen. Many of the show's participants ended up divorced. Christina Phillips lost over 500 pounds during the show. She lost 75% of her body mass, along with her longtime husband and caretaker. The problems between Christina and her husband Zach started during the show and steadily escalated as she lost weight. She believed her husband couldn't handle her newfound independence and realized the relationship was irreconcilable as she focused on Zach's need to empower her. The couple are now divorced and have become a partial copy of the show's divorce list, which includes Dr. Now. However, you should consider the possibility that divorce isn't always a bad thing. It is the utmost emotional, physical, and personal difficulties that accompany obesity. The sad demise of a patient in Dr. Now's first show. The contestant named Renee Williams weighed 841 pounds when she began communication with Dr. Now. Before arriving back to the show, Williams met several doctors who refused to help her. Dr. Now's son, Jonathan, documented Williams' hardship using the footage to produce a documentary named Half Ton Mum. The series aired in the UK and spawned other shows, including Half Ton Teen. Jonathan also remained the executive producer of My 600 Pound Life until 2016. Dr. Now left a tube inside of a patient's body. During a non-show related procedure, Dr. Now completed gastric bypass surgery on Michelle Park. Unfortunately, things didn't go well, and 24 months later, Michelle started facing some issues in her body. According to a lawsuit filed by Park, she ended up losing part of her colon and suffered from extreme mental distress after learning that a 6.69 inch tube had been making its way through her body for nearly two years. Park dismissed the lawsuit in 2013. However, many people claim that the dismissal was likely due to out-of-court mediation. Now, these cases are often accompanied by a restraining order that obliges the person not to release details about the agreement. Risk offered by every gastric bypass surgery. There's a long list of risks associated with gastric bypass surgery. Short-term risks include breathing and lung problems, blood clots, excessive bleeding, and even death. While in terms of extremely bulky patients, these risks increase and include heart problems and cardiac arrest. Well, the thing is, many doctors have believed that if a patient is unwilling or unable to achieve a manageable weight loss goal before surgery, the procedure is unlikely to make a difference in the long term. The sad thing is that the contestants are often aware of the consequences of the gastric bypass surgery. Penny Sager didn't lose weight after her surgery. Penny is one of the most controversial contestants in My 600 Pound Life. During an episode of Where Am I Now, he even refused to step on a scale, arguing that weight doesn't matter. Her melodramatic antics almost seem to resemble Honey Boo's mother, who starred in another popular TLC reality show. Fans have often accused Penny of being stubborn, uncooperative, and manipulative. Well, after the surgery, it was revealed that Penny didn't lose any sort of weight from her body, which literally resulted in a backlash to the show's format. Dr. Now was sued for wrongful. In 2004, a patient's mother filed a murder lawsuit against Dr. Now after following the death of her daughter. Colleen Shepard said neither Dr. Now nor the hospital adequately prepared her daughter for the impact of weight loss surgery. The patient's name was Tina Shepard, who died of liver failure and blood poisoning about a year after surgery. Her symptoms have been attributed to the risks of gastric bypass surgery. However, there were some more causative factors that caused similar conditions. Well, Tina's gastric bypass procedures were reportedly filmed with a camera. However, Dr. Now refused to show the footage publicly. In response to the lawsuit, he said he was unaware that Tina was dead and that she did not show up for scheduled visits after the surgery. Now, with that being said, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed watching it, press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.